but we're looking for you know a free and active market. So you know short selling is part of the overall market. And uh, it's really important to have, you know, the buys and sells in the market. They kind of give you price transparency, liquidity, and let everyone, you know, trade the way they uh, they want to trade. I mean, limiting short selling it, it probably wouldn't do, you know, any good for the market in general. What's fascinating about this story is it really is one of these sort of Wall Street versus Main Street kind of narratives, isn't it? And this, of course, coming against the backdrop of COVID-19 and what we've seen in terms of the disparities right. in terms of the economy and, and, and wealth distribution, all these kinds of things. How political do you think this is going to end up being at the end of the day? Or is this just a, a, a need for re-education on, on what the market really does and what short selling is and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, I think that's really an important uh, point you brought up is that really the public, the traders, the government needs to really understand what the mechanics and what short selling really does for the market. Uh, you know, we at S3, we provide information for, you know, the short side of the market uh, to the public, to institutions and retail investors. So it's really important to know that, you know, we have a fair and level playing field. And I think social media and the advent of uh, FinTech uh, has made the market much more uh, open and, uh, and fair for the public. What do you think will be some of the longer term implications uh, for investors, particularly some of those long standing investors, the hedge funds uh, and some of those short sellers out there as well? Well, this is an interesting GameStop is a really interesting uh, scenario here because it really is a, uh, a stock that can be affected by you know, a retail long holding and long buying. Um, you know, people have to understand that in, in a bit, some of the bigger names, you know, this really isn't so possible. You can't put a huge press on Amazon and Apple. So there are, this really only applies to a handful of names in the market that have high short interest, high percentage of float and, uh, and can be moved with uh, retail, you know, kind of a consolidated retail effort on the, on the buy side. But hedge Behold. funds are going to have to watch out for the future. 